Hey everybody, welcome back. So to uh, my uh, very big surprise, I'm actually doing another pickups video. I know what I said in my last one, I'm like really trying to be careful what I spend, but something came up and uh, I just had to go ahead and sort of jump on it. I actually had gone, uh, ran, had run into Walmart for something and sort of wandered over, because I don't know if some of you know this, but some of the arcade one up, a lot of Walmarts have been selling some of the older ones uh, massively discounted. Some people have been talking about like they, they've been finding them for like 50 bucks. Uh, no, I didn't find any, <laughs> but I did find some NECA figures. Wanted to hold back on getting any more NECA figures for a while. These are two I've actually wanted. So first one, is the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Freddy Krueger. Hopefully you can see him okay. So there's Freddy, a couple different heads. Uh, one of them has sort of the cross burn on him, the hand with the uh, like syringe needles, the little puppet Freddy, a lot of the chest you can swap out. It's got the soles on it and uh, the little house miniature, which is really cool. So I've wanted this one actually for a while and uh, I you know, never saw it in a store. It's kind of one of those, I was like, ah, I'm going to order it, I'm going to order it. And I never did. And so finally I saw it at the store. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. And I did find one more NECA figure. Now I didn't know these were actually, I thought maybe this license was up. I didn't know they were still making these, uh, but I could be wrong. I must have been, I'm not following it uh, too closely. And that is the Terminator uh, NECA figure. Now this is um, the one from sort of like the first half of the film. As you can see there, he's got like the first jacket. This is before he puts on the black leather jacket. A couple different heads. It's got the stuff you can do to work on his arm that opens up. It's got the uh, the two different weapons, including the Uzi 9mm. So this is one I've actually wanted for a while. And um, I, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but actually my sort of, let's see if you can see Probably can't see it too well, but the Terminator setup I have back here, which you will see in the room tour, which I will get to in a minute, might try and put him back there. I don't know if it's going to work actually as part of the display or not, but that's kind of what I was thinking. And if that wasn't cool enough, uh, Creepy Company actually had a sale that they had, uh, I think it was last weekend, and I have waited for so long to get some stuff from them. So uh, the Halloween sort of VHS blanket that is here, that's from them. I actually bought this at uh, Flashback weekend last summer and since then they've come out with a lot of other ones they have like they've like a texas chainsaw massacre one they've got an evil dead one and they have which i literally just got in a creep show one and when i placed the order for this was already kind of thinking like okay well I'm, I'm gonna go ahead i can't wait any longer i'm gonna go ahead and do the room tour but i really wish i had that blanket i wanted to actually have it either on this chair like at the halloween one or i have actually have a second chair just like this and I wanted it then on that chair. But I, again, I didn't want to wait any longer. I actually thought I was going to get this a lot later than I did, but it came in. So this is actually going to work out really well. In fact, I mean, basically, for those of you who don't know, here, let me open this up real quick. I don't know if I can actually get all of this on camera in one take, but basically what it is, it's sort of a mock-up of the old VHS cover. So like, there's the front. I hope you can kind of see it okay. And then it has like, you know, sort of like the spine of the VHS with the title, which is like, okay, it's disappearing. Obviously, I'm not doing a good job here. And then it has a mock-up back of it so you can see the face there and stuff and sort of like a little description down there. Anyway, I really, really wanted this blanket again to go in here but it didn't stop there because i was like well if i'm gonna go ahead and get the blankets it's, it's on sale the pillow was also on sale so i have the also the creep show pillow from creepy company which i'm gonna open right now here is the pillow so what's cool obviously on this side it has sort of the uh comic book uh, front, which is also the same as the teaser poster. Nice and soft, actually. And then the back, it sort of has like little bits of all the different stories, or almost all of them. Wait, nothing from, from to tide you over, but has two from the crate. Well, it almost has <laughs> all the stories, but still very, very cool. I absolutely love it. This is obviously for this room as well. Uh, obviously it doesn't open up, it's just supposed to mimic a book. So I figured since these came in, it worked out. Uh, not only could I do a pickups video, but I could also now actually include it in my room tour video, which I really wanted to do, because for me it sort of just finishes off the room, at least for now. And in regards to the room tour, I know it sounds like it's been taking forever, 
Um, and actually, yes, it has for a lot of reasons. Again, one, when the exterminator came and I had to move everything back in here, I honestly, it just, from an energy standpoint, it just kind of wiped me out. And I was like, uh, God, I kind of felt like I had to start from scratch. And there's a light back in this corner uh, on the wall that is not working. I thought it was a simple fix, uh, but when I looked at it, it was not something I could do. So I'm gonna have to get an electrician to come in. So I'm not gonna wait for an electrician. I'm just gonna have to just plan to light that area area uh, pretty specifically while I'm filming. But outside of just doing a very quick uh, cleaning of the room, I'm ready to film it. Now I pre-recorded uh, some of the poster videos, so uh, you may see some of those, but basically the next video I'm gonna film is the room tour. And I'm also actually gonna test uh, one thing that's gonna be for an upcoming series I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually test a camera setup for this, cause you know, might as well. And I'm sorry about my hair, I was actually gonna put a hat on for the video, but I did notice in the last video I was wearing a hat that it was sort of messing with the autofocus a little bit. I'll try and keep that to a minimum, but I, I went out for a walk and the, it was very windy today. So yeah, my hair is a little messy, but on the plus side, they are about to start letting uh, some hair places open up soon. So I'm hoping I can get my hair cut. And actually, once I get my hair cut, I am going to start doing that new series that I've been talking about for a very long time. It'll make sense why I wanted the haircut because I just want to look a little bit more clean cut. So that's my pickups video as well as just a very quick minor update. So let me know your thoughts on all my uh, new stuff. <laughs> and again, keep an eye out for the room tour, which is now finally going to be coming. And in the meantime, uh, Andrew Bellina actually just posted a video on doing his room tour. So by all means, jump over to his channel and check that out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.